it's Mina and I'm coming to you with a brand new video where we are taking a look at three Lamy Purple inks. Um, one of them is a, a a beloved ink that you either have and adore or are hoarding or you wish you had it. We have Lamy Dark Lilac, one of the most iconic inks to ever exist. Next up we have the Stila Stile version of dark lilac or what they labeled dark lilac on their website uh this past week i ended up seeing that and getting some so um i wanted to you know if it is a dark lilac i wanted to compare it and if it is dark lilac i just wanted to have more of it so we're going to take a look at that and then we have the new um one of the new special editions for this year Lamy Blackberry or Violet Black. I don't remember what the full name of it. I think uh, people seem to be calling it Blackberry. So yeah, so two new inks, one ink that's been out for a while. I have already swatched this ink um, and we're going to do a chromatography for all of them. And I'm going to swatch this one because I already have, I have a swatch of that. Well, spoiler alerts, we'll wait. We'll, so what we'll do is we'll swatch these inks um, and do the chromatography. I might do the chromatography first, just so I don't accidentally dirty the water. I have three strips right here. I have previously done chromatography on dark lilac, but I can't find the strip. And in my little tests, I have done chromatography on this one, but also it disappeared. They were right here on my desk and I have ripped it apart and can't find it. So. We're just gonna do fresh chromatographies on all three. That'll be exciting because you'll get to see it. And um, yeah, and then we'll swatch this one and compare and see how it goes. Um, I'm also gonna do some little, I figure I'll do some little writing samples in my little Hobonichi. Um, just like a little, I'm gonna use my uh, brass nib, my brass Kakimori nib. I've had this since like Black Friday um, and I've, I haven't taken it out of the box yet. <laughs> So I have the wooden holder and then the brass nib and yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna play with this. The holder feels nice. Um, I kind of want one of the like fancy acrylic holders, but I figure I don't even know if I like the nib yet. So we're going to it'll be an experiment. Um, yeah, if needed, I will use my Moonman N6 glass dip pen and um, yeah. I just think, yeah, but, but this way I can like swatch it in the Hobonichi and write with it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's unbox our inks. So I'm gonna, Lamy Dark Lilac is gonna be the first. I'm almost out of it. Pearl, 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 nobody wants a swatch of Pearl. Come here. Actually, lots of people probably want a swatch of Pearl. Okay, whatever, we're just unboxing the ink. Pearl. You can't be up here now. Pearl, you don't even fit. You don't even fit. If I fit, I sit, but you don't fit for Pearl. You're not even under the camera so people can see you. Pearl, 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 come here. Pearl, Pearl. And we have the Blackberry. The tops look, or this is not Blackberry. This is the Stilo Stile version of dark lilac the tops look very similar very similar okay miss p i need you to get down you need to get down come here come here come here come here come here you stubborn little mouse you stubborn little mouse are you playing dead weight on me for pearl? pearl you you're on the cord you have to get up come here come here you're knocking everything down. Come here. Come here. Come here. I can't even move the camera because you're on the cord. Come here. <laughs> Come, here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little nugget. Come here. You <laughs> <laughs> you never come up here unless I'm recording. You never come up here unless I'm recording, Burr Burl. Okay, you, if you're going to be up here causing trouble, they're going to get to see you. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? This is going to be such a long video because we're not cutting this out because you're cute. Because you're cute, Burr Burl. Burr Burl. Aww, Burr Burl. Come here. Come here. Hi, boop. 
And then boop, boop, boop. And then boop, 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 boop. Let's see. <laughs> can you, can you, can you, can I do my thing now? Purple. I gotta finish this so I can get back to work. So I can buy you food. And litter. And toys. And treats. No, get out of my water. Get out of my water. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. We got her. Sorry. Sorry about this mess of a video. But also not sorry. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the Pearl content. So the tops look really similar on these. And then, so again, original dark lilac, the Stilo Stile dark lilac, blackberry. So you can see these top, this top is different. This top is different. I'm just trying to keep the boxes in line with the bottle so I don't mix them up, especially, well, these two I can't because there's not much left in this one. This is new. And then, yeah. And then we have this one. Okay, so this is the one that I'm going to swatch. And here's this, the paper that I swatched the other two on. I was just too curious. Oh. Nice. 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 Right off the bat, I can tell you it's not a dupe for dark dark lilac. It's a very pretty color, though. Okay, um, let's, can I put this? Probably should be doing it with the dip nib, but, um, okay. Swatch card. I didn't grab a paintbrush. Of course I didn't, because why would I be completely prepared? This is my first time using the Khaki Mori nib. This I got from Reed Stationers. I don't hate this as much as I thought I would, so that's good. Paper towel. Oh, it fell on the floor. I have this napkin here though, so that should work. How do you know when it's clean? Because it looks like there's ink in there still. At the very least, there's dirty water in there. How do you know? How do you know when it's clean? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. All right, let me grab a, I don't have a paintbrush here. No, because I moved them because I cleaned. One second. Problem with cleaning is you can't find your stuff. Okay. This is very saturated. It is a really dark purple.
definitely a different kind of like purpley vibe than um than dark lilac All right, this needs a moment to dry. Oh, I missed a spot, shoot, I missed a spot. Definitely has like a more gray vibe to it and it's gonna sheen. It's gonna be a different kind of sheen, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I'll let this dry. Um, Reed Stationers is in Canada. I believe, actually I don't know where they are. I was gonna say I believe British Columbia, like Vancouver-ish area, but I'm not, I actually don't, I'm not certain. I found them because I kept hearing about these inks, but they weren't listed for sale anywhere. So when I Googled, they showed up here. So I got this, I got the pink cliff, and I got the pens because they had them available. And then like two days later they were available on the on the website so on the uh, US sites so a lot of you probably maybe already have them so you can see even on here I hope this is the original dark lilac this is the um, the Stilo e Stile dark lilac and then this is the blackberry so you can see they're totally different we'll do a, si a better side-by-side -side comparison in the Hobonichi but we're going to do some chromatography now and this will be exciting because you'll get to see it i think i'm going to use the glass dip pen for that because i think i have a better luck cleaning it off so we're going to do i'm going to start with this one because it's right here This is so interesting. That's my email, sorry. Lots of, there's dark. I bet if this is, I bet this is somewhat water resistant with that black line at the bottom. So it's definitely more of a black. There's lots of gray, black, gray, purple. Still climbing a bit, so we'll see. We'll see what we get out of that. We'll let that sit there. I'll clean this off. I love having ink on my hands. Okay, next step. We'll do, we'll close this. It. Then we'll do the Stilo e Stile version. This leaves behind the pink. It doesn't look like it leaves a definite line, but the the base color seems to be this really bright. Is this considered fuchsia or magenta? I get them mixed up. But the base is this bright pink with some, looks like probably purple and black. Totally my colors, I love it. Okay, here's what it looks like on the nib. Maybe, maybe.
thing. And then we will also do the original dark lilac. Man, this color's pretty. Man, it's so pretty. So the chromatography is kind of similar to the last one. The pink wow vibrant is not quite as in your face, well bam. But very similar. Very similar. So let that do this thing. I'm going to give it the same treatment I gave the Steely Steely one and make it kind of help gravity help it along. So one thing I did want to note, let me clean this off. This water is very pretty. One thing I did want to note is I used this to put the line on my um, chromatography. This middle line is the blackberry. This reddish line is the Steely Steely Dark Lilac, and then this is the original. So you can see this is a lot pinker than this. There's more blue in it. Um, it's watch card time. Having this little uh, blotting paper sticking out is like the equivalent of having um, toilet paper in your shoe. So here we have the blackberry. It's a pretty purple, but it's mostly sheen. It's like a, I would say like a copper sheen. Then we have the mystery dark lilac that I got from Steely Steely. It's a much redder base. We'll see, I'll do some writing samples and swatches and we'll see what that looks like a little bit easier. Um, it definitely is a pinker ink, but it has a lot of heavy green sheen. Reminds me of um, Vinta something apple, which I don't like. I don't like the green sheen, I have to say. And then we have the original, which even, as much as we can compare it, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's definitely a bluer purple. And I prefer the shade better. This sheen is more golden, but seems to be a little closer to the blackberry. This also seems to be all sheen. So that's kind of interesting. Of the three, Dark Lilac is still my favorite. Unbiased. If I really like this one though. I like how gray it is, like in, Here's the paper towel chromatography. Mm, I like that. I like the grayness of it. I really, I like it. And the chromatography is sick. Let me show it to you. So let's take a look at our chromatography. I don't have enough room for these. Okay, so here is, this is OG Dark Lilac. This is, the Stilo Stile version. Oops. They're still damp, so perhaps should wait a little bit more. I don't have my pencil here to, to write on them. Um, yeah, so OG Dark Lilac. This pink is, this. the chromatographies are similar. I feel like the colors in this one are less vibrant than this one. That purple is electric, that pink is very vibrant and in your face. And then um, the blackberry is 
like my favorite combination of colors. I love black, gray, and purple. Um, the, <laughs> this watch is very demisexual. Um, but yeah, I adore all three, to be honest, as far as the chromatography is concerned. I'll be interesting. It'll, I'll be interested to see how it is in pens. I don't have any pens right here to ink up so I could test that thoroughly, but um, perhaps we'll see them in a currently inked sometime soon. So yeah, so the chromatography on these two is similar, but again, much, much pinker. That pink is very in your face. And then these are nothing at all like it, but I love it all the same. So let's see what it looks like in a notebook. Um. Okay, it's a writing sample from a video you haven't seen yet. I don't, I don't need to zoom in that far. Okay, cocky morty nib. Let's do some dark lilac. I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in water and see if we can pull it out a little bit. Not sure if you can see how um, how like pink how red that is. So much redder. I feel like this would be close enough for people who have never had dark lilac or don't have dark lilac, but I think if you have OG dark lilac, you might be picky about it. See that pink is just so much more vibrant and pink. It's so much, it's so much pinkier than that. I feel like um, Aaron from the Joy in Pens and Paper might like this. It might be a little darker than she would like, but also maybe not. I know she likes gray or purples. So. So perhaps this is something in her wheelhouse. If anybody has any tips on properly cleaning out a Kakimori nib, please let me know. This is my first time using it. I don't hate it like I thought it would, to be honest. It's 
So you can see that this has, it's a lot pinker. It has a really, a really green sheen. I think you can see that. I hope you can see that. Let's see it without the overhead light. There you go. Dark lilac with its gold this sheen. Steely, steely dark lilac. I'm calling it dark lilac because that's what they call it on their website. And then the, the bronzy, coppery sheen. It's like a, let's say like a, yeah, a bronzy sheen. Here we go. Um, we'll look at the swatch cards. Well, we did look at the swatch cards, but... Yeah, definitely three different inks. Um, if you can't get your hands on regular Dark Lilac, the OG, um, then perhaps this version is good enough. Excuse me. Um, as somebody who has the original Dark Lilac, um, I don't think either of these are as velvety and rich and warm, and I just want to wrap myself in a blanket of Dark Lilac. Like, I want a blanket the color of Dark Lilac. I want my life to be Dark Lilac. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I don't know if this was an experiment. I don't know anything about it. I just got the ink and then saw that they had their email that said that it isn't really dark lilac. That wasn't in the Lamy's promotional material. Uh, we just called it that. Blah, blah, blah. I don't think they should have called it dark lilac if it's not dark lilac. Um, I don't know what to call this other than the Steely Steely dark lilac. Um, but, um, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to do an ad for my atlas stationers but also i got this from atlas stationers and you can use code man 10 for 10 percent off um, um i have the details for all of my i only have two affiliate slash referral links so i put those in the description but um anyway yeah 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 so interesting interesting have you gotten any of these? Do you have OG Dark Lilac? Did you manage to scoop up a bottle from Stilo e Stile? Did you get the Blackberry? Are you planning on getting the Blackberry? You'll see Blackberry again because I will be doing an unbox, well not, not a true unboxing video, but I'll be showing off the pens. And I wanna also swatch that uh, pink cliff. So um, you'll be seeing Blackberry again. I love this. I love this so much. And also I love this. And this I can take or leave. Really, honestly, it's the green sheen. I don't like purples that have the heavy green sheen to where you can't even see the purple. I just don't like it. I think it overpowers it, and it's not a very pretty color in my opinion, and I just don't enjoy it in most applications. Um, I want to say Vinta Bodabule has a green sheen like that. It's been a while since I've used that ink. I can't remember if the sheen is green or, or, or orange or green or uh, gold, but because I ran out. I ran out enough to get another bottle um but uh yeah I just yeah it's not my favorite it's not my favorite like see even in the Stilo e Stile dark lilac it's literally just green sheen it just looks green the Lamy dark lilac has a lot of the gold sheen but you can see some of the purple and the Lamy blackberry is all bronze depending on how the light hits it so I don't know I don't know I don't know, but that green sheen is not my favorite. Anyway, let me know what you think. Was this helpful? Was this useful? I don't know. I was just curious and wanted to make a video about it. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed the Pearl content. Uh, she is a little stinker, but we love her. And um, yeah, I will see you again very soon. I've got the Ink Flight video coming. I just have to upload it. Um, I have, uh, as you saw, I have a Gold Coast, the new Gold Coast video to upload. I actually just need to make the thumbnail for that one, so that should be coming soon. And, um, yeah, um, I have lots of ink to swatch. I got some inks from Casey, um, last week, and then I also have inks from her for my birthday to swatch, as well as inks from Dormouse to swatch. I have a bunch of samples that I purchased that I need to swatch, so swatching videos to come. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I hope it was useful. 
more helpful. Let's take a look. Here's the chromatographies again. There's dark lilac, there's a steely steely, and then there's the black gray. I love how this, with because of the sheen, doesn't look anything like that, but I love the chromatography in that. I cannot wait to get all, I wish I had three pens sitting here that I could fill them and, uh, and do writing samples, but I don't at the moment because I've been cleaning and putting stuff away. Um, yeah, and then also here is this page as well. Original Dark Lilac, the Steely Steely Dark Lilac, and Blackberry. Hopefully this was helpful and useful. Turn that light off to see if maybe that, because I have light behind me, natural light. But yeah, see, all you see is green sheen. <laughs> this just looks black. Unless you can kind of see the gold, maybe the purple a little bit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful or interesting or that you got something out of it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have played with any of these inks, let me know. Um, let me know what you think. Are you getting any of the new... 2024 limited editions i haven't been i haven't been tempted by a limited edition in a while this is the first one i got both pens i got both inks and yeah you'll be seeing those soon all right have a great day um yeah and i'll see you soon take care love you bye